How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I don't know if you guys have found out or not or have heard uh, recent news that just happened. Every single person's Social Security number in the United States has been leaked as part of a data leak. It's not just Social Security numbers because it says that it affects people in the United Kingdom and Canada as well. So it's not just Social Security numbers, obviously, because clearly... The United Kingdom and Canada is not going to have a social security number. So it's clearly deeper than that. But we're going to find out what this is all about. And we're going to check out this video right here by Live Now from Fox. The social security number. Everyone's social security number may have been stolen in massive data breach. We're going to find out what this is all about. For every American may be at risk after a massive data breach. Fox News correspondent Dana Marie McNichol has more. Let's watch. Nearly 3 billion personal information records, including names, social security numbers, and addresses, reportedly exposed in what could be the largest data breach in history. The information stolen from National Public Data, a company that collects and sells access to personal information, which is then used by other organizations to obtain things like background checks and criminal records. We didn't give permission for them to collect that data. We can go opt out if we know the company exists, but there's hundreds of data collection companies out there. According to a lawsuit filed against NPD, the hackers leaked the information on the dark web, selling it for $3.5 million. Jeez. I think people should be very upset about this. They should ask, why is this company, you know, why do they have all of that information? And when they had it, who was making sure that they were protecting it. The scale of this breach is so extensive that if you live in the U.S., it's likely that some of your data is included. Yeah. So what can you do? Well, <laughs> you can get Aura. I tell you that much right now because they do have data protection. And luckily, luckily, I actually just became partner with Aura. That's right, guys. I have a video sponsor today, and it's actually relevant. Literally the perfect timing with all this going on. If you haven't noticed by now, so many social security numbers have been stolen. Over 2.9 billion records were stolen from the national public data, which offers personal information to employers, private investigators, staffing agencies, and others doing background checks. These stolen records includes a person's full name, address, date of birth, social security number, and phone number, along with alternate names and birth dates. Aura gives me real-time alerts on my phone. So if they find anything, phone numbers, emails, social security numbers, anything like that on the dark web, they're going to let me know fast, okay? They're going to give me a notification right on my phone. They also give me up to $5 million in identity theft insurance should the worst case scenario happen. They keep an eye on your financial accounts, monitor the dark web for your personal information, and even offer a secure VPN to keep your online activity private. Plus, if you have kids, their parental controls are a lifesaver, helping you manage what your children can access online. So it's like a full security suite, guys. You can go to Aura.com slash It's Charlie Vest to snag yourself 14 days for free so you can stay protected in this crazy, crazy, crazy world that we're dealing with right now. I also put a link in the description section down below, so make sure you go click the link below to get your 14 days free. Simple measures like monitoring your credit report for fraudulent activity, managing your passwords using two-factor authentication when possible, yeah. and freezing your credit, which can help prevent scammers from taking out loans or opening new credit cards in your name. Too few people jokes on them my credit sucks guys <laughs> do the basics right and so they, we just make it really easy for cyber criminals to attack us in addition to the united states the hackers in this breach claim that the information was also stolen from people in the uk and canada exactly in miami dana marie mcnichol fox news Dana Marie, thanks so much. Uh, so for more on what this means and, and any advice for people out there who are wondering, was I swept up in, in this hack? We're going to bring into the conversation uh, our friend Fox News contributor, Kurt Knudsen, the cyber guy. He joins us. Um, Kurt, thanks so the much for being guy. with us here. I know you've been following this pretty closely. This is really staggering. Uh, really don't know where to start with this. OK, how about this? Who did it? Who are the hackers? Yeah. Andrew, good question. Um, we know that it's one sort of new hacker to the, ter to the terrain. 
a new hacker, and it's literally the biggest data leak on record, the most like serious one when you think about it, because there's social security numbers, personal, so much personal information by almost everybody in the United States, the United Kingdom, and Canada. That is a massive, massive deal. And for this to be a new hacker, that's that's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Is it really a new hacker, though? Or is it somebody that's just took on a new identity in the hacking world, right? I mean, we'll, we're not going to know. Of doing these kind of breaches. And what's highly unusual is normally they want to hold this hostage and make a lot of money off of it. This instead was just offered for free. So that's even worse for all of us. So it wasn't financial gain then. It was just literally a psycho that just wanted to screw everybody's stuff up. That's those are the ones you got to worry about. In terms of hacks that we have followed in the past, this breach really is about the largest I have ever witnessed. So it goes like this. Am I affected? Well, if you're an American, yeah. Pretty uh, yeah. much every American's gonna be touched by this. And then the question is, how did this happen? How is it that NPD has our data? And you know, somebody in, in Dana Marie's story said, oh, I never gave them permission. Well, the chances are you did, but none of us read that fine print. So now we're all sort of stuck in this world where we've said yes to a million things when we download an app or we sign up for a website, on and on. So, Andrew, today, what you really want to do is look at how do I extract myself from this? And that's really the trend when you see something like this. The advice is great. Watch your credit reports. Right Aura also has real-time credit monitoring, by the way. Right now. Okay. Watch them like a hawk because if something else is going to happen, you'll see it there. And then in terms of somebody getting a hold of your social security number, who else is going to post it online and where else is it going to go? And the question is also how dark web, guys, it's going to go on the dark web for sale. And guess what? Dark web monitoring. That's another thing Aura had. This sounds like a whole entire on uh, like an ad for Aura, but it's just I'm reacting to the news that's happening. I like to learn about the world and the world is screwed right now. And I'm trying to help my people. This isn't some just random stuff I'm trying to push. This is literally something that could save you, your family's protection or your identity online. It could save your finances. It could save a lot of stuff for not that much money, guys. It's really not that much money a month. You know, 14 days free though. How do you remove yourself from the internet? There are data removal services. We've rated the top ones online at cyberguy.com that we follow. And then also, how do you then in the future know when these breaches happen? Of course, you can subscribe to our newsletter where we send out alerts, but there's even you know better alerts that come from the uh, companies that monitor if somebody is doing anything with your identity online. And those services, again, you have to subscribe to them, but there's some really good ones that are out there. They're not that expensive. No. And again, we rated the best of those. So watch your credit. Watch phishing scams that come in your direction. If you yeah. didn't ask for it, don't click on it. It's those common rules. Yeah. You know, Kurt, I wanted to ask because it just seems like, uh, and maybe you agree, that uh, we're seeing these massive data breaches and hacks with more regularity, more, more frequency uh, on a really more massive scale than we have yeah. before. Are you confident in the safeguards that are out there right now to prevent? getting your data swept up into something like this are they I, i'm just gonna say right now that you, you everybody probably needs something you, you really do it's li like like the guy's saying you know it's getting worse and worse and worse more frequent more frequent more serious with the amount of data and and the death and the level of 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 stuff that they're actually getting the information that they're getting on everybody strong enough or do they need to be stronger Andrew, they need to be stronger, and it's a really good point you're making because have you noticed if you have an iPhone or you have an Android, you notice how quickly and how more frequently you're being pushed a software update that's yeah. kind of urgent when it happens, saying, hey, you need to update this. There's a security thing. We're not going to tell you what it is because we don't want to tip the hackers off, but you better update your phone. So yeah. when that's happening with this level of frequency, the question is, what are you doing to protect yourself? Because they're not protecting you for the big tech areas of the world and our government certainly is not protecting us well so it's really up to you and your family so my advice is always this 
What are you doing to make yourself resilient? The number one thing you can do is have antivirus protection on not just one device, not on like just one person's laptop in the family, but on every single device. And that also included in Aura, which Aura is a multi-device thing. You can get it on your phone, your computer, etc. That way, that'll really bolster your ability to keep out these bad guys. For example, when you have good protection and somebody tries to get to you and say it's a phishing scam and it's a link and it looks so real and they're using AI, so we're getting fooled more. Yeah, <laughs> I don't click on random emails and I'm pretty sure I good advice would be for you guys not to as well. Just saying. More regularly. Well, when you go to click that link, good, good uh, protection will stop the link from even going through because they'll, they'll have identified that. So it's really about, you know, you're, you're getting on a boat now and you know the boat's going to sink at some point. Gosh. Well, you better have a life jacket. Yeah. Okay, you know, what about the people who say, what would someone want my social security number for? Why do people want my data? I you know, if you have good credit and stuff, then, then they would want your social security number to open up accounts and credit cards in your name, I think, or, or buy stuff on credit, online credit, uh, like stores that give you online credit and stuff. Mo most of that they do uh, have to have your social security number for. You know, is that the posture to take when people are seemingly, they think, immune from anything like this, even if they are caught up in a data breach like this? Well, no one's going to do anything with it. What do you say to those people? <laughs> Number one, number one reason they want our data, especially a social security number, is really financial. They want to take money from us in one way or another. It may not happen tomorrow, but they're going to build a database that then has some value. And they're either going to sell our stuff to somebody else in a big lump of other stolen stuff, or it has to do with espionage. It has to do with a foreign actor trying to get a hold of uh, Americans' data in such a way that you could then understand what would I need to say and do to get Andrew to act in a certain way? Oh. So that's happening to all of us. We don't know that it's happening because it's so it's so well tailored yeah. using AI that, you know, Scary. It, it's just like TikTok. We're clicking on videos because they know what we're going to click on and they're showing us the videos that where it's not like we went and fished out a video. Right. So it's those algorithms that aren't working necessarily in our favor. Okay. They may to entertain us with a happy cat video, huh. but they're trying to rot your brain. That's what the TikTok algor algorithms do. And sorry. But then it's really just too much information is getting out there. And with AI, they can take the data, little pieces of our life, and put that together and really come up with something that's a powerful weapon against all of us. Yeah. A brave new world. Uh, Kirk Knudsen, the cyber guy, always appreciate your insight. We'll definitely. The cyber guy. So, yeah, it sounds like this is just a giant ad for Aura. And I guess essentially it is, but it's not. It's a, it's a, it's a reaction video doubled up as an ad. Thank you for, for sitting through it, guys. Um, take your online security seriously. Seriously. Dead serious. It's something that you need to think about. It's not just me pushing a random product. This is something that can save people so much headache, so much finances, so much everything. So check out the link down below. Do yourself a favor. Support the company that supports your favorite YouTuber. And you guys have a super fun, awesome day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye.